Yahoo News, 14th of April 2023, Total Leadership by the Chinese Communist Party is exercised through the Trudeau Foundation Donors Organization. The CEO of the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation resigned due to alleged donations from a businessman who also serves as the head of a Chinese cultural group that claims to be run by the communist government. According to the China Cultural Industry Association's website, it was established with the blessing of China's State Council, also known as the country's central government, and adheres to the total leadership of the Chinese Communist Party. The organization claims that Zhang Bin, a Chinese billionaire who gave the foundation $200,000 in 2016 and another Chinese businessman, is its president on its Chinese-language website. The contributor, however, was identified on the receipt as Millennium Golden Eagle International, Canada, according to The Globe. According to the China Cultural Industry Association, Millennium Golden Eagle International is a member of its executive board and was established with the blessing of China's Ministry of Culture. On numerous privately run Chinese company registries, Zhang is identified as the chairman of Millennium Golden Eagle International. The Chinese government allegedly arranged gifts to the Université de Montréal and the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Foundation to sway Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, according to a February report in The Globe that cited an unnamed source. In response to new details on a $750,000 donation it received in 2016 that allegedly had connections to Beijing, the university released a statement that it is reviewing all of its options. The organization had pledged to refund the $200,000 gift from Zhang and Yu Jiansheng. During a news conference on Thursday in Regina, Trudeau reiterated that he had not been affiliated with the group that bears his father's name for about 10 years. He said, and it still is that way. But on Tuesday, the charity's board of directors and president announced their resignations, claiming that the politicization of the organization made it impossible to continue with the status quo. According to The Globe and Mail, the Trudeau Foundation has decided to conduct an impartial review of its initial decision to accept the donation. The nonprofit was unable to repay the $140,000 it got from Millennium Golden Eagle, according to an article published on Wednesday by Montreal's La Presse. On its WeChat social media page, the China Cultural Industry Association announced in 2016 that it had established a Trudeau Education Fund at the University of Montreal.